Shofatim, Judges 5, then sang Deborah and Barach, the son of Avanoam, on that day, saying, Praise ye, Yahuwah, for the avenging of Yashara'el, when the people willingly offered themselves. Hear, O ye kings, give ear, O ye princes. I, even I, will sing unto Yahuwah. I will sing praise to Yahuwah Elohim of Yashara'el. Yahuwah, when you went out of Seir, when you marched out of the field of Edom, the earth trembled and the heavens dropped. The clouds also dropped water. The mountains melted from before Yahuwah, even that Sinai from before Yahuwah Elohai of Yashara'el. In the days of Shamgar, the son of Anat, in the days of Ya'el, the highways were unoccupied and the travelers walked through byways. The inhabitants of the villages ceased. They ceased in Yashara'el until that I, Deborah, arose, that I arose a mother in Yashara'el. They chose new Elohim. Then was war in the gates. Was there a shield or spear seen among 40,000 in Yashara'el? My heart is toward the governors of Yashara'el that offered themselves willingly among the people. Bless ye, Yahuwah. Speak ye that ride on white asses, ye that sit in judgment and walk by the way. They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of Yahuwah, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Yashara'el. Then shall the people of Yahuwah go down to the gates. Awake, awake, Deborah, awake, awake, utter a song, arise, Barach, and lead your captivity captive, you son of Avanoam. Then he made him that remains have dominion over the nobles among the people. Yahuwah made me have dominion over the mighty. Out of Ephraim was there a root of them against Amalek. After you, Binyamin, among your people, out of Makir came down governors, and out of Zevelin they that handle the pen of the writer. And the princes of Yishachar were with Deborah, even Yishachar, and also Barach. He was sent on foot into the valley, for the divisions of Reuven there were great thoughts of heart. Why abode you among the sheepfolds to hear the bleedings of the flocks? For the divisions of Reuven there were great searchings of heart. Gilad abode beyond the Yardan, and why did Dan remain in ships? Ashur continued on the seashore and abode in his breaches. Zevelin and Naphtali were a people that jeopardized their lives unto the death in the high places of the field. The kings came and fought. Then fought the kings of Canaan in Tanaach by the waters of Megiddo. They took no gain of money. They fought from heaven. The stars in their courses fought against Sisera. The rivers of Kishon swept them away, that ancient river, the river Kishon. O oh, my soul, you have trodden down strength. Then were the horse hooves broken by the means of the prancings, the prancings of their mighty ones. Curse ye, Maroz, said the angel of Yahuwah, curse ye bitterly the inhabitants thereof, because they came not to the help of Yahuwah, 
to the help of Yahuwah against the mighty. Blessed above women shall Ya'el, the woman of Hever, the Keni be. Blessed shall she be above women in the tent. He asked water, and she gave him milk. She brought forth butter in a lordly dish. She put her hand to the nail, and her right hand to the workman's hammer. And with the hammer she smote Sisara. She smote off his head when she had pierced and stricken through his temples. At her feet he bowed, he fell, he lay down. At her feet he bowed, he fell. Where he bowed, there he fell down, dead. The mother of Sisera looked out at a window and cried through the lattice, Why is his chariot so long in coming? Why tarry the wheels of his chariots? Her wise ladies answered her, Yea, she returned answer to herself. Have they not sped? Have they not divided the prey? To every man a damsel or two, to Sisera a prey of diverse colors, a prey of diverse colors of needlework, of diverse colors of needlework on both sides, meet for the necks of them that take Rather, meet for the necks of them that take the spoil. So let all your enemies perish, O Yahuwah. But let them that love him be as the sun when he goes forth in his might. And the land had rest forty years.